Welcome back, it's me, Nate Dog. Uh, 33, here to wrap up my Transformer rant. This was supposed to be a two-part parody of Heavy Metal Wars, Devastator's first appearance, but with all the problems it's giving me, I'm finding it hard to do. It's bad enough I have to work around my own screw-ups. Why do I have to work around the screw-ups of these so-called professional animators? For those of you who aren't familiar with our work, or haven't seen part one of this rant, let me recap. When we were kids, my brother Jaw and I hated the cartoons we were forced to grow up with in the 1980s. He-Man, Inspector Gadget, Thundercats, the fucking Galaxy Rangers, they all sucked. We would do voiceovers and make fun of them, like G.I. Joe, Rambo, and Transformers with no exception. One of the many reasons we hated them so much was all the animation errors. We felt like the creators of these abominations were insulting us, so we retaliated the only way we could by recording the cartoons on videotape and dubbing our voices on audio tape and make parodies of them. Why do I keep changing shape? I look like an oriental. Why is my head so small? Why is my face so warped, man? <laughs> what? What the hell? Hey, hey. Dr. Mom, this is, hey, we just got beamed up by Scotty. I don't know how he did it, but oh. thanks, Scotty. Oh, very much welcome. And so my brother and I became fans of our own version of the Transformers. And just like the real fans of the real thing, we became equally familiar with all the problems the show suffered from. Problems like dual scene-itis, when the same characters seem to be in two places at once. Accessoristomy, when items appear and disappear like Prowl's wheels on his shoulders. Sometimes they were there, but colored in wrong, which brings us to... CCD, Color Coordination Disorder, Autobot Flu, characters with the wrong powers, and the most common, Multiple Starscream Syndrome. I swear, this does not look like the work of professional animators. Looks like the work of spastic preschoolers. A few decades go by and the Transformers keep getting remade. The animation has improved, but the characters suck. And just recently, my friend gave me his DVD box set of the original series. He just gave them to me. That's how unimpressed he was. It's not even the complete series. They didn't spark enough childhood memories and he never got the rest. He just watched a few episodes and then he was like, There you go, Nate. It's better than just throwing them out. Gee, thanks. Maybe I should just start calling myself Nate the Human Junkyard. Hmm. Junkyard Nate Dog? Junkion Dog? <laughs> anyway, here I am trying to use the greater quality of the DVD to upload the Heavy Metal War parody that Jaw and I made, and look at this bullshit. They fucked up a rare, cool scene by reanimating for the DVD instead of leaving it the way it was. The Constructicons don't move, and when they transform, the camera doesn't pan up. Why did they do this? Look at the original from the VHS recorded the day it aired. Sure, the overall quality is low, but the effect of having the camera pan up as if you're one of the people on the ground looking up as they transform has a much better effect than the stationary cam from the higher grade DVD. Did the fans notice this when the DVDs were released? Did anyone say anything? Because I'm confused and pissed off to the point where I just might not bother making any more Transformer parodies at all. Why do the fans let the Transformers shit all over them like this? The animation errors were one of the things that inspired us to make the parodies in the first place. To see these new mistakes on old cartoons just reminds me how much I have always hated the Transformers. They started off all fucked up, and now they're ending all fucked up. I don't know, maybe it's a combination of things that I didn't like the Transformers. Maybe, uh, maybe I was too old. They came out when I was 12. And I was thinking more about girls than I was about giant robots fighting and, and science fiction. All right, all right. I had the toys, so my mind wasn't always on girls. But then again, I was 12. I thought about chicks, just wasn't cool enough, and I'm still not cool enough to do anything about it. But let's get back to the Transformers. As you saw, they obviously reanimated for the DVD, and they could have fixed this scene when Devastator's hand changes color. But that only lasts a split second. I can forgive that, but this next scene is just unforgivable. If you had the toy or you knew someone that owned it, you already know what Devastator's head's supposed to look like. But as you can see in this scene on the VHS recorded on the day Heavy Metal Wars first aired, the animators didn't have that toy. So, Devastator's head constantly changes shape with each cutscene. It's never drawn the same way twice. This was hilarious when it first aired. He changes with absolutely no explanation whatsoever. But here we are years later, they reanimated the cartoon and released them on DVD box sets for the fans. Did they fix this mistake? No. Here's a message to the animator. What's the big deal, guys? You obviously did some old scenes over again. You could have at least fixed this. I mean, it looks like King Tut, for Christ's sakes. All he needs is a royal goatee, and there you go. He's my favorite hunger! King Tut! I am Tut. 
And don't tell me you left it alone for nostalgic reasons. If that's the case, why did you ruin great scenes like this? The dialogue between Megatron and Starscream are some of the best I have ever heard in a kid's cartoon, especially here in Heavy Metal War. And they screwed it up by going back, doing this scene over, and coloring in Starscream as Skywarp's color. I am honored to serve Megatron. Soon, Starscream, soon. Scrapper's invention will give me the power to defeat the Autobots once and for all. Forgive me, but I believe your boast. And the whole sound. DVD is like this. I know this is just a cartoon, but remember, I'm trying to work with this mess. Which means, if I decide to finish this parody, I will have to either use the shitty VHS recording, or go back and forth between the DVD and the VHS, or just scrap the whole project. Might as well give up making the parody, because these geniuses turn their own cartoons into their own parodies. This is ridiculous. How do you return to a fucked up project that you fucked up on, and make more mistakes on it? Imagine if a time portal opened up, and Custard got a second chance at Little Bighorn. And instead of fixing up the screw-ups that caused him to lose, he goes and makes new mistakes on top of his old ones. Why don't the people behind the Transformers know by now there's a strong fan following for them? Personally, I don't understand why the following is so strong, but I do know what it's like to be a fan of something and constantly get shitted on by lousy recreations made by the same people who made the concept in the first place. These box sets came out years ago and my friend just gave his collection to me. I didn't waste my money on this crap, thank God. But have fans made complaints about these DVDs? Did they ever re-release them without the screw-ups? And why did this cartoon start off so fucked up to begin with? I have two theories, but I never researched any of them. If I'm wrong, the right reason can't justify this shit. I mean, the Rambo DVDs didn't have new mistakes. They are just as crappy as they were when they first aired. I think the reason the 1980s Transformer cartoons and comics started off so bad is because, number one, it's a job like any other. A group of writers and artists were hired to rush this thing into production, so maybe they didn't always know what the characters are supposed to look like, their names or powers, so they couldn't go back and fix some of the things because of deadlines. Theory number two is that they simply just didn't care, probably because they saw the Transformers as nothing more than an over-glorified toy commercial. It is an insult to their craft as writers and artists, and their hatred towards the Transformer project shows in their finished work. So it was either their deadlines or their hate that prevented them from going back and fixing their mistakes. I have been waiting for somebody to do the Transformers some justice because I think the concept still has potential to be something more than just the longest toy ad ever. And Michael Bay couldn't even get it right. I always felt there was a mistake to make the humans unrealistically fearless when they confronted the Decepticons, as you see here in a scene from Heavy Metal Wars that I have been bitching about. And in some scenes from some episodes, Humans even talk back to them. I would never reveal his whereabouts to hoodlums such as you. What a joke. I don't care how much military training you have. Unless you are driving a tank with an army of tanks behind you, you are not going to charge in and fight these things. Fucking stupid. But I'm nitpicking here. And I could nitpick this movie to death and point out tons of shit from this film that I hated. But at the same time, I could even pick out a few things that I liked. But none of that matters. I just can't get past the fact that I spent my hard-earned money to watch a bunch of giant alien robots fight over a pair of glasses for the first half of the movie. That's not epic. That's a horrible joke. And the joke's on me. So in case you haven't guessed, I am not going to see the sequel. I've seen the trailers. It looks like garbage. Yeah, when the Transformers first came out, I thought to myself, giant robots fighting. Great idea. How can this go wrong? <laughs> I'll tell you how. Give it to somebody like me. Give it to an American. We don't know how to write stories about giants fighting. Leave it to the Japanese. Give the Transformers back to the Japanese, please. We can't do it. We keep fucking it up. We've tried and tried and tried, and each time the Transformers just got worse and worse and worse. Oh, God. We just don't have the touch. We can't do it. Look what we did to Godzilla. Nobody liked that movie. Well, I like the movie. I mean, what else are you going to do with it? It's a giant lizard roaming through Manhattan. What, what are you going to do? But anyway, there you go. There's my rant. And that's all I have to say on the subject now. I'm leaving. No more Transformers. Please. Give me back the GoBots. At least they never drew a million liter ones in one scene.